So, right now, I'm just kind of hanging out. We're going to head down that old east coast there. Kind of settle that. Although we can make an incursion if you look into 19 without elongating our front. That's something we don't want to do. We don't want to elongate our front anymore than it has to be. Shoot you here. We can go ahead and delegate him. Delegate and relegate. We gotta find a way to get Chunk Fei the hell out of here. Because he should be over there fighting some war, not uh, hanging out with Cao Hong in Province 11. And I think we can make that work. Oh, Yan Yin there. Sneaky face of his. I like that though. I like that. That's cute. Oh, oops. I almost hit the button to impose a special tax. But you could do that. You could expose and uh, impose an additional tax. This ticks people off. Uh, I've never, I don't think I've ever done it before. Uh, and apparently you can't do it in the fall. Alright, so this is our new. Okay, no one's capable. Alright. Well, anyway, we've got a bunch of new generals here that we can go ahead and disperse out. Which would be good. Province 18. I mean. Not most likely has nothing because they got dislodged by uh, Tao Kui in there. Hell no. Wang Lu, I'm going to take you out, buddy. And I'm going to take you out. Sun Chuan right there. Who's not related to the rest of the sons. He's, uh, he's a super charming guy, which isn't as useful. But it's funny that uh, Province 21 there. Okay, Lu Biao's follower Zhu Tai is trying to get Sao Ren. Damn, too bad I didn't get Zhu Tai. He's got 85 war ability. Anyway, yeah, you'll see that it's real interesting that uh, Sun Jian went ahead and expanded on 38 instead of 22. 22 is a way better province. 38 is now you're starting to get into the boonies where like nobody lives. All right, so we better do some propping up a loyalty here. Xiao Hao done all nice and uh, oh, we can't uh, recruit any generals right now. Let's take a look at what they've got going in province 24 because we will very shortly knock that province out. Oh wow, he's got quite a few guys here. They're not armed and really he doesn't have any real luminaries there. They're all pretty, yeah, they're pretty horrible at war. So this will, there'll be easy pickings once we can get down there, which is gonna be a few turns, and then yeah, Wang Lung is nothing, and it's only him anyway. So that's good. That's generally how Wang Lung swings. He's generally pretty. Oh, let me go ahead and delegate these uh, provinces here, so we don't we don't have to be bothered with them. Okay. No. no yes. Very well. Yes. Excellent. And then we're down here with old Shen Pei. Aww. Got a lot of disloyal guys here. Let's save our boys. So we're in there, and we are going to send up some generals to some of these other provinces where we'd like to, anyway. So we send up Zhu Ling this turn. so we can start switching these guys out to where we can get a more formidable fighting force. Got lots of rice, and it'd be a shame if we didn't sell some of it. Hopefully we won't oversell again. Gonna hire up some troops. Uh, how about 100? And I like to try and make it even. Uh, I had a friend in, uh, in junior high, I think. That's what he did. I didn't do that before, you know what I mean? Like, that's something that he taught me, basically. He started doing, like, just to even it out. I don't know, it feels better. I do that with my tips, too, at a restaurant. <laughs> just kind of even it out to a solid dollar value. You know, Zhu Yu and Six might be plotting something. Jesus, sure hope not. Alright, 
Pantheon Funk. We can also send some more generals on over. These guys will all make welcome additions. And, uh, we can have this problem. So I'm going to take him out, actually, as far as being my advisor. Yijiao Zuhair. He's at 90, so he might be right about my guy plotting my demise there. Province 10, Sai. I need to get a more charming guy in charge here. Okay, so we've got quite a bit of generals here. And, uh, so bring Chen Gong up, because he's pretty good. And, uh, for now, we're not going to really do anything with him. We're just going to kind of sit on them and send them over. But I can, they should all be, like, not to do anything right now because they'll just move. Yep. Let's see if we trade some rice because the rice price. So 38 is the amount of rice you can get for 100 gold. So you can see it's uh, pretty good for us right now. Once it gets down to 30 or so, it really sitting pretty. And then, yep, they'll send us up stuff, which is good. That's exactly what we want. And we can just sit here and wait for the troops to come in and kind of relieve old Zhang Fei out. Here in province eight, we got this guy here. We might switch him out with a different guy. How's your loyalty there, buddy? It's not bad. Good for you, Leon Dong. Good for you. So yeah, we'll probably switch him out with a different guy. Province eight's kind of shit too. Of the Bohai Peninsula there. I think that's a Bohai Peninsula. So whenever I hear Bohai Peninsula, I always think of. Um, I always think of, uh, oh, whoa, he attacks province 21. He goes to Lu Biao for help. Lu Biao stiffs him. And that's the capital of, uh, Sun Chuan, or Sun Jian. So that's good, because they're going to weaken each other out. I like that. Because, uh, Sun Jian can make, can be a real problem if you let him build up. Computer plays him well. Although he's very turtleish In that way. So he's very turtleish, and uh, has all the problems uh, that you would expect from someone who turtles up. Let's see if there's any like, no, got all my raw guys there. That kind of stinks. I would have liked to. Maybe I'll send one of them back. All right, let's reward uh, Xiao Hao Dun again before he ends up turning on me and going over to the competition. Oh, no merchants here. Probably should have got it the first time they told me that. Um, we need to hire some troops, but we don't have the money quite yet. So there's not really a whole hell of a lot we can do this turn. Oh, I should appoint my new advisor. Because, uh... Oh, I should appoint a new governor, too. Because he's, he's smarter, so we'll make him the... So let's see if we got a more charming governor that we can, even if he's not very loyal at the yet. Good deal. Alright. Shen Pei. What shall you do, my seven free generals? Well, we don't want him, so whatever. Let's see. What do we got for disloyal guys here? We got a lot of them. Sao Ren's the one I'm really interested in. Good, we can move a couple of these guys over here. Or I can move at least one of them over there, and Yufan can go take over. Yufan. That's good, he can take over eight, and then can move Liang Gong back up. So that'll work out pretty well. Uh, we need to train these guys, obviously buy some weapons too, but I think I already checked on that. Did I? No, I certainly didn't. And so, Shen, Shen Pai, he needs to get weaponed up eventually here, although maybe we won't have him for 
participate in the next battle. I'm not sure. Although these guys aren't the next to move anyway. No, they're not moving anywhere for a while. Until we can take out 19. Which actually shouldn't be that long. Take out 19 and they'll move down to 28. So the key is to get 10 up to snuff to where they're ready to make a move. Dan Fang, I'm sorry you're no longer the uh, advisor. I feel kind of bad about that. But you got a hell of a province to rule there, so. Alright, Sun C is advising his old man. Good for him. Better, better get this guy over 90. Okay, we can move some of these generals over here. Send one guy who's actually got troops, huh? 7,000 gold. A bit of rice. And that'll put us in a pretty good spot. And we can hire up some troops, too. So, hire a couple hundred. And then we don't really got a lot of war ability going here. It's not that important. We just need somebody to hold this territory. The computer is not as good as, say, a player looking at, okay, they've got a bunch of armed guys here, but they have no war ability, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, computer don't look at it that way. And unfortunately, I still have him as governor, so his rewarding ability is marginal, which is not not good news uh, for us. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold off hiring troops for a turn or two. Although I do, th no, I got an idea. I get better governor here right now. Oh, I could have that is if I hadn't already used Zhang Fei to uselessly reward a guy. So I kind of messed up. That's okay. All right, we'll move him forward now. And then, oops, I didn't move any rice with us. And then next turn, we'll move the guy who just came into Province 16. He'll become the new master of uh, Province 8. Yeah, we need to ta tackle 19. So. No! Don't scare me with your turtleage. Luckily, Sun Giant had Province 23 to fall back on was pretty good in any case. Alright, I'm going to appoint somebody a governor over here. Just like I forgot to friggin' do. Alright, who's the most charming? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Cow, Sao Hong. Okay, you're the man. Alright, now what do we need to do? Because are you my next mover? Well, kind of. Alright. Yeah, you pretty much are. Let's move uh, one of my generals up here. You fine. Go for it. So you go rule that province. No, no merchants. How are we doing on arms as far as arms go? Okay, so we're pretty well armed. But let's go ahead and uh, assign troops because we could probably get to moving a lot sooner. Should we disarm? Yeah, I'll say. We're not going to be able to send our whole force, though, so we got to look at that. And we're going to have to leave somebody here. I mean, Wang Lung's probably not going to... And the game is uh, gun-shy about, you know, going ahead to attack... Uh, province and what's the word for it? About abandoning a province in order to attack. So yeah, oh, province 19 is looking weak. So we gotta get to moving pretty soon here. But I have to wait till I've got some damn uh, uh, merchants here so I can arm my guys up. You know, I mean, 
I don't want to lose too many damn troops going there. Because if I lose too many troops, then it'll be a Pyrrhic victory. Because I want to be able to keep rolling here. Alright, let's get Hughes in all snuff. Well, Sal Ren first. He's more valuable, to put it bluntly. And he was in, he's still on the frickin' shelf. Alright, what do we got for weapons here? Oh, gosh darn it. I didn't get all Shin Pei armed up yet. It's too bad. But we can go into battle without him. But it's not our next move in any case, which I keep forgetting. Ah, uh, and I, speaking of keeping forgetting things, I keep forgetting to have Tian Fang uh, go auto control. Alright. So now we've got our troops here in Province 10. This is our next mover. We need to get Zhang Fei over here, though, immediately. Oh, shit. I better do some rewarding real quick here. Because we're ready to move. Ice is a wonder and loyalty. Yeah, they, they say that. I don't, like, maybe there's some other loyalty other than that number. To give it a true sense of unpredictability. Which is kind of a dick move, if you ask me. But, of course, that does. It's somewhat realistic. Alright, Zhang Fei, get the hell out of here. We need you where to fight is at. Okay, next turn we should be ready to go ahead and take out Province 19, which is the most populous province in the game. And therefore, I would say the most valuable. Alright, Cao Hong, he's down below 90. That's not good. We don't want it like that at all. Alright, everything's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, so we can't do anything about that right now. I've got to wait till I can get the rest of these guys' loyalty up. Nice, but although that's not very much. 67 gold, 245 rice. Alright, so we're almost through our second year here. And I'm going to end this uh, video with a bang. still can't buy weapons. This is ridiculous. I hate it. It keeps happening where we don't have any... Keeps happening. Pretty annoyed by it. Alright, let's go ahead and recruit Wan Kuo here. Why the hell not, right? Oh, and he refused to join us. Maybe he's mad about that whole us killing his uh, master thing. This is my province is looking best for attacking, but at this point, really not much I can do. Oh, Hu Jin is finally, he's finally mobile, but we can't do much with him at this point. And I didn't make Tyon Fang uh, independent of my control, so I also made a boo-boo. So that's bad. But that's okay. Province 10, I think, is ready to go, though, as far as fighting the bad guys. So I think we're in good shape as far as that goes. Sorry, Tian Fang. I'll give you full control next turn. Alright, so Province 10, Chu Shou. Still not very impressed. But they're all armed up, aren't they? Yeah, so we're gonna take another turn and train them. I forced a lot of my combat powers tied up in other provinces. So, yeah, we'll have to wait till next turn. I'm sorry about that. 
was hoping to end this video with a bang, but it doesn't look like we're going to. Alright, so, bows in. Alright, I got a couple of guys who are kind of... These guys are just basically going to hold anyway. I don't need them to fight, but I do need them to be guys that aren't going to get attacked. This is kind of the frontier here at Province 11. And then Yufan, how's your loyalty, buddy? Oh, wow. But if he turns, then I'll just attack it. And, you know, he doesn't have any troops, so I'm not too worried about it. Well, Wang Lu wants to team up, but I'm not going to team up with him. So that's not gonna happen. Um, oh! Oh! See, that was what I was hoping would not happen. So, uh, Yan Shi went ahead, turning over to Tao Queen. That's bad. Which is kind of shit. Uh, so you can see what can happen there. So I had to cancel uh, my delegation to this. And I'm just going to go up there and take them out. I imagine I'll execute him out of spite. Even though he's not real and it's just a game. But in any case, I'm pretty pissed about that. Pretty clever thinking though. I remember at the beginning of this game actually, there's a, a province that... Uh, is run by Lu Yan that you can actually get to uh, flip right at the beginning in some cases with a really charming guy and so if you can do that that's kind of funny it's not all that useful though because it's way out there and I mean it's not a particularly great province but it's something whatever okay so these guys will be ready to go next turn yeah, I'm pretty unhappy about how all that turned out. Alright. Let me just send... Uh, okay, that's not going to work. I'm just going to send one of my troopers up there to go help take that back. Hughes uh, in, still not too loyal, but we'll work on him. And I still didn't give this guy control. Why am I not remembering that? And are we already attacked this turn? Mm, yeah, sure, why not? 300, 400. Eh, shit, might as well wait till next turn when I can take their money. So I'm getting a little gun shy. I know I said speed run, but. I want to make sure it's effective, not just like me going in there going nuts and then, you know, losing a ton of troops to where I end up slowing down big time. I want to make sure that we can keep driving, keep going, uh, which is my idea. All right, so that's pretty good. Uh, thanks for watching. Catch you next video.